Hola everyone, Vince here, and today in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how an antivirus program works. A little background information on antivirus programs. Antivirus programs are mandatory for computers. They're not just recommended, they're mandatory. Not having an antivirus program is just like not having your local police and local fire department in your city. So that's how important an antivirus program is. What does an antivirus program do? Well, a little background information on that is when you download stuff from the internet, your antivirus program scans it for viruses. And that's the demonstration I'm going to be showing you today. So personally, myself, I use AVG free antivirus. And like the name suggests, it is free. It doesn't bloat your computer and it gets the job done. AVG free will be used in this demonstration. But if you like Norton or McAfee, just imagine the AVG free icon being the Norton or McAfee icon. To start off this demonstration, we need to have an antivirus program installed and I installed my antivirus program, AVG. And with your antivirus program comes virus definition. This antivirus program has one definition. Basically what a definition is, is a database of known viruses out there on computer land. And if any piece of data that looks like this icon passes through your computer, it is considered a virus. Let's start off by opening the gate. And the gate is represented by this gold line or gold orange line, whatever. So say it with me. Open the gate. I didn't hear you. Open the gate. Okay, so now we open the gate and AVG is aware and looking out for all data. So let's bring in the data, shall we? The data will be represented with these icons. Here's a piece of data. It goes through the gate and AVG says, stop. Who goes there? And this icon says, I'm just a little piece of data. AVG will check its definitions. And if the icon that's trying to pass through looks like a virus definition, then that means it's a virus. But no, it's not. It's blue. And there's no blue virus definitions out there. So AVG says, you may pass. And then the data says, yay. Then another piece of data comes in. And AVG will say, stop. Who goes there? And this icon will say, I'm just a little piece of data. So AVG checks its virus definitions. And if it looks anything like a virus, it would be under the current virus definition section, which it is not. And so AVG says, you may pass. And the icon says, yay. Zit. AVG will say, stop. Who goes there? The icon will say, I'm just a little piece of data. AVG will look at its definitions. And surely enough, it is not a virus. And AVG allows this icon to pass. Yay! But you might be saying, Vince, okay, get on with the point. Okay, I will. AVG says, stop, who goes there? The icon says, I'm a good program, let me pass. AVG checks its definitions, and surely enough, this is a virus. It is disguised as a program, but it's really a Trojan, so it's a virus. So, what AVG does, it closes the gate. Yes, AVG says you may not pass. And AVG zaps it and quarantines it to its vault. And the vault is being represented by the recycle bin. And the gate is open again. But let's say, hmm, I need to update my virus definitions. Fine. Two new viruses. Ah! So instead of just looking for briefcase icons, we have to look for these two new icons. So let's start the process. I'm going to load a piece of data. AVG will say, stop. Who goes there? The icon will say, I'm just a little piece of data. AVG checks its definitions. And surely enough, this icon is not a virus. So it passes. Yay! Here's another piece of data. AVG will check its definitions to see if it's a virus. And surely enough, it's not. Yay! Same goes for this icon. Checks if it's a virus. Surely enough, it's not, and passes. Yay! And then high-speed data comes in. Oh, no! So AVG will look at the four icons, and we'll see if any of those four icons are viruses. Surely enough, they aren't. They all pass. AVG says, stop. Who goes there? We're just pieces of data. AVG looks at its virus definitions. It lets this icon go through, but it says, you, 
you are a virus. So what does AVG do? It closes the gate. It takes the virus, quarantines it, and puts it in the vault. And then reopens the gate. And yes, this concludes the demonstration of how an antivirus program works in simplified terms. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And you can email me at vinceatvinceba.com. You can send me tweets through Twitter at twitter.com slash vincebognot. And you can save 25% off your next hover domain by using coupon code Vince by going to hover.com slash Vince or typing in V-I-N-C-E at checkout. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you have a good day. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh, wait a second. Not an antivirus will say, stop, who goes there? And then, delete.exe innocently says, oh, I'm just a little piece of data. The Norton antivirus will say, let me check my notebook. And he sees that that's the virus called delete.exe.